We're in Kruger National Park in South Africa. This is the remains of a river in the middle of the dry season. And it's one of the few remaining places the local animals can quench their thirst. Without this murky water, they die. In one day, you'll see the entire pageant of nature in all its wonder and terror. All right, what's up guys? So we are in North Miami, LA Fitness. And uh, I am at a commission in the gym today because of all this tattoo work I just got done on my chest. It's like, not, not a good situation. So, substituting in is gonna be Nathan Wells. I think he's doing shoulders today. He's definitely not doing legs today. As you'll see by the video footage. But be easy on him in the comments. He's a little guy who tries real hard. So enjoy this episode. <laughs> All right, tonight is shoulder night. We, uh, we're working on boulder shoulders, man. So we're gonna do some just real basic movements. We were in LA Fitness, and I'll tell you, I'm a, I'm a massive fan of LA Fitness because I travel all over the country and uh, they're always accommodating. And so TJ and I uh, were able to blast our shoulders tonight. But I will tell you this, this place was an absolute zoo. I mean, it was like we were in the zoo and all the animals were uncaged and shit was everywhere weights everywhere <laughs> papers everywhere wipes everywhere uh and it was a madhouse we were limited a little bit with with our equipment and our machinery so we kind of had to make shift some things but we got an awesome workout in and so we started that off with some old school uh, with an old school movement on the hammer strength machine we went front military presses with a four set of 10 and uh, pretty strict but we weren't being we weren't too strict so we just wanted to get really some heavy some heavy weight in uh, to kind of tear the muscle down and we did that um, I think we worked up to like what would be equivalent to 275 pounds on a on a well minus the 45 pound bar so so I don't know what the weight was but 245 actually three 45s and a five pound plate on each side. So we blasted shoulders. That was our last set, increasing weight every single time. And where if you don't increase weight, you really want to power through and, and do more reps if you can. And that's what TJ did on his last set. Instead of increasing weight, he just did more reps. So he got amped up and did that. So we crushed it, got the blood flowing in the shoulders. We moved on to the upright row. One of my favorite movements for shoulders. It's just really nice and controlled movement on the way down. I feel like it's one of the best movements for shoulders to help separate and create striations in the shoulders and in the deltoids. So we did three sets of 10 there, um, which there's no way you can do an upright row and make a pleasant face. It's one of the most ugly faces ever. I love watching hot girls do upright row because no matter how hot they are, no matter how hot they are, they have a movement of like the snarl of like a tiger getting ready to kill its prey. So uh, moving on from there, man, we really, we just decided we wanted to feel a little sickness in the stomach. And, and TJ had a puke bucket close by just in case we did go there, but we did a super set of truck drivers, not heavy weight, doesn't take a lot of weight when you're doing truck drivers. So we used a 25 pound plate, about six reps each side. So it was 12 uh, to hit them both. And then we went right into a super set with a front strict lateral raise, finished off again back to the front military press on the machine and so we did six six and six so that ended up being 64 reps we went through that superset twice 64 reps really fast and at one point i just i had to jump out of the machine it was it was excruciating we got the job done we tore the muscle down and then we finished off with really an exercise that i think a lot of people that do shoulders miss and that's the rear deltoid so much working out involves movements in front of the body, chest, shoulder, biceps, triceps, and it, and it uses the front deltoid. And a lot of people forget the rear deltoid and it just really rounds off the shoulder nicely. And so, man, doing that was awesome because we got to meet an awesome couple. We shared a machine with David and Yanni and they were great. Established a great friendship in the gym. 
and that is the way you finish strong that's it that is it for today's video i know it was a little bit different than what you're used to with it being a workout but do us a favor leave some comments if you'd like to see more action of working out uh, fitness related type videos let us know in the comments thanks a lot guys Friend.